I'm gonna show you three exercises you can do to help you maintain muscle, lose fat, and have better functional movement throughout life. I've been training for years and I continuously use these exercises, which you can do at home at your gym. Stay tuned. Lately, I've been putting a little bit more focus and attention to my stretching game. It's important that you try to improve your flexibility. You should stretch more like four to six times a day, probably even more. You're supposed to stretch all throughout the day. The body is consistently getting tight. So with you stretching, you loosen up the muscles and you drop the risk of injury. So practice stretching when you can. Next up, this is my core exercise for today. I'm doing hanging leg raises. Of course, you gotta have strong forearms, you gotta have a strong grip, and you gotta work your core. You know, if you can master hanging leg raises, you got strong core muscles, and it will go a long way. Number one on my list, you should be doing squats. Squats are without question the best exercise you can do to help maintain your muscle mass, to help burn fat, everything. You wanna be doing squats. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you how you can get squats done in the gym. Sometimes we make weight training seem barbaric and out of reach for normal people, but it's really simple to do. Right here I'm doing squats. These are barbell squats, and these are highly effective exercises and I'm not doing a lot of weight. This is fairly easy. You want to get reps in. You want repetition. You want to get practice. And I'm warming my limbs up. My knee, my kneecaps are getting warm. My ankles are getting warm. My hips. And this is good practice. The weight is not heavy, so I won't hurt myself. And I can get good work in. You can practice getting low. The lower you get, the more muscle involvement you have, which is good. And you want that you want your body working so you can burn calories and you can develop those muscles that never really get used if you think about it you never really squat during a functional day all you do is walk and that comes from your hips keep in mind the deeper you go with squats the deeper muscle involvement you have so you want to hit your quads your glutes your hamstrings, the deeper you go into the squat, the more muscle activity you have, which is good if you're looking to build muscle or you wanna metabolize fat faster. So get deep as you can without hurting yourself. Now the second exercise that I highly recommend that you do involves the second biggest muscle groups in the body. And that happens to be the back, the latissimus dorsi. So I'm gonna show you the exercise and you can start putting it into your workout routine. In my opinion, the back is one of the undervalued body parts we have because you don't see it. You don't look in the mirror and you don't see your back. But anyway, the lat pull down, it, it mimics a pull up. So every time you pull, you're, you're pulling up. You know, you're essentially pulling your body weight up, but of course you're not. This is a lat pull down, but you're mimicking a pull up and you're working your back and you're squeezing. You want to feel your muscles working and you'll get good results if you practice this. And again, you don't need to use heavy weight all the time. Your body can feel a, a moderate amount of weight and you just want to practice filling out your body, especially with lighter weight. Quick note, don't fly through the exercise when you're training. Your body needs to feel how that resistance feels at each level of the exercise. So don't fly through your training. Take your time. Your muscles need that time under tension so they can grow and they can come back stronger. So you can get vascular, so you can get that strength. So you, you, you want time under tension. I know it hurts. I know it's a little uncomfortable at times, but 
You need, you want time under tension. You have to exhaust your muscle fiber so it can change. The third exercise I recommend is none other than the bench press. And you're gonna work your shoulders, you're gonna work your pectoral muscles, and you're gonna work your triceps. For a lot of guys, the bench press is one of the most favorite exercises to do. But ladies, I encourage you to start doing the bench press because it's super effective. You wanna work out your whole body. And you hit a lot of muscle groups with the bench press. You hit the chest, you hit the triceps, you hit the shoulder. It's a lot of muscle activity involvement in the bench press. You know, you wanna go all the way down and touch your chest and you wanna go all the way up. You don't wanna lock out your elbows, you wanna protect your joints. You wanna protect your elbow joints so don't lock out up at the top. You combine all three of these exercises, you got a full body workout. You got, these are three exercises you can do that can impact the body with good results if you try this at home. The weight doesn't have to be heavy necessarily to get results. Your body needs that repetition. You need to keep doing it. You need to have more repetition so your body can get convinced that it needs muscle. When you sit around all the day, the body is not convinced that you need muscle. So we're teaching our bodies that we need muscle to help us burn fat, to help us move things, to help us live more functional throughout life. So uh, we want reps and it doesn't have to be heavy. Don't always think you have to come in and lift heavy weight. I do lift heavy weight, but sometimes, you know, it's not all the time, you know. Um, I, I don't need to be that strong. I don't desire to be that strong. So I don't lift heavy weight all the time. So I finished up my training with spinning. Uh, I rode a stationary bike for about 20 minutes. Uh, a lot of good hip work, leg work. This is good cardio that forces you to work. And this is a different switch up. This is a good switch up. You know how I like to confuse the body and this is a great way to do it. You change the level of intensity with this little knob right here. When you flick it up, it gets harder. When you flick it down, it gets easier. So, these are foundation exercises. These are exercises that you should implement into your program if you're not doing them already. Now, should you exclude any exercise and just do this exclusively? No. These, you're to supplement, you're to build your programs around this ex these exercises. If you look at any fitness level, if you look at the highest, uh, the people with highest level on uh, weight training and bodybuilding, they do these exercises. I don't care if it's on the sports nigga, Kai Green, uh, Mike Rashid, the people highest up, the highest level of fitness, they practice these exercises daily to maximize muscle and to lose fat, you know. So if you you combine the most amount of muscle in the body by practicing these exercises. If you put them in your routine, you're gonna get exponential results. So if you wanna practice using these exercises, I'm developing the three-day split routine and it's gonna show you step-by-step -step with tutorial videos, just like I showed you in this video, to help you get these exercises down and help you take your body and reach its potential. So if you wanna be a part of that, just email me at Justin Parks Training at gmail.com. I do projects like this all the time. The best way not to miss out on any content like this is to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new and hit that bell notification button to be notified each and every time I release a new video. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. And like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.